Hey everyone, Rob here from Gunfather Milsim. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Guiana Tactics uh, Viper Hood. I don't know if it's pronounced uh, Guiana or Guyana. I'm going to go with uh, Guiana. It's a uh, Russian company I kind of stumbled upon about nine months ago uh, during the off season. I liked some of their kind of sniper-esque products, so I decided to order their uh, Viper Hood. It's a different take on the uh, traditional ghillie. It, this Viper Hood is basically just the uh, arms, the upper arms, and a hood. And it comes without uh, this, uh, these elements on here. I'll explain that in a minute. But it basically comes with a kind of a framework on there, a patchwork, like a net that's sewed into it. And in addition to purchasing this, you'll buy what they call their disguise elements which is basically their fabric cut into whatever camouflage pattern you want in this kind of leaf string thing. Um, the actual hood, the Viper hood, costs $90. Each of these uh, disguise elements cost $3. I bought 10 of them. I probably should have bought five. I got a lot more than I needed. But anyway, when you get it, you take your little you know, disguise element and you uh, loop it in and out of uh, this mesh work here and you end up kind of getting a three-dimensional kind of look to it and that, that'll break up your, uh, your silhouette. Um, they come in lots of different camouflage patterns, um, OD, I believe Woodland, ATAX. Um, I chose Multicam because that's a, a camouflage that our, our team often wears um, when, we, when we play big ops. We usually play tan and uh, Multicam is usually a considered a tan camouflage pattern and uh, so I wanted to, uh, to instead of wearing like a traditional ghillie which I find to be you know kind of hot and cumbersome and, and um, honestly not very practical for uh, airsoft context I decided to try this out and uh, because it's multicam I would still match the rest of my team. Um, it's made out of uh, a cotton polyester blend is the fabric um, Seems to be pretty durable, pretty light. I'd stay away from fire in it, or it's gonna melt on you. Um, overall, it, it, it's a, it's kind of an impressive design. It's, it's got a lot of adjustability to it. Um, throughout, it's got several of these little uh, kind of pull cords to uh, tighten and loosen different aspects of the uh, of the hood and whatnot. You can adjust both the uh, the length and the depth of the hood with this one here in the back, as well as the uh, circumference of the opening of the hood with the uh, pull cords on either side. Therefore, you can adjust you know, the hood so it fits perfectly on your, on your head when you're, when you're using that. Now, speaking of the hood, when it arrived, the, uh, the leading edge of the hood is uh, malleable, adjustable. It had this, this wire in it. Um, that you can adjust and move the different shapes and whatnot. Obviously, I removed that because I found it to be kind of annoying. The hood wouldn't sit right, and it was never really where I wanted it to be. So I ended up uh, cutting it, pulling that out, and now the hood is uh, you know like a standard hood. It's uh, no longer stiff, and I uh, prefer it that way. Putting it on is pretty easy. Just throw the arms on. It's got uh, one clip up here in front. There you go. I kind of like it because your chest is free. Your chest isn't encumbered. So if you're wearing a chest rig or a plate carrier, sling or whatever, none of that gets in the way. You can still reach all your stuff without you know your ghillie suit or whatever getting in the way. Um, obviously, here's the hood. I usually don't wear a hood when I play, but if I do, I wear a, uh, a ball cap to kind of keep this from going over my eye pro and obstructing my vision. Now it does have these little gaps here um, in the hood. Theoretically, you can look to the left and, and see through those gaps. I don't know how practical that is. I, I have found it, it really isn't. But it uh, does let air flow through there, so it does make it more comfortable. And in that respect, I like it. So uh, overall, really like this, uh, this design, this piece of equipment. The uh, only complaint I have from it is the quality of the webbing used throughout this right here 
Looks kind of suspect to me. It looks kind of cheap. Um, this is a Russian company, uh, this Guinness. So you order it from Russia. Unfortunately, it takes you about five weeks to get here. Um, and your shipping costs are, are kind of high. And maybe, maybe this webbing used throughout is, is just standard webbing that you see over in Eastern Bloc countries. I don't know. I don't have a lot of experience purchasing you know, Russian military crap. Um, I know that you know, compared to webbing that I'm used to seeing uh, in this country, in America, it's, uh, it's, in my opinion, not as high a quality. But who knows? It, it may hold up pretty well. Um, I've been using this only at three games. Um, I purchased it early in the year, and I didn't get any photos of the first time I had it out. Uh, the second time I had it out was in um, it was April, and unfortunately, no, it was May. Anyway, the second time I had it out was in May, and it gotten really green uh, since the two weeks we played prior, and uh, it didn't really match well. So you still gotta, you know, I mean, it, it's a great, great piece of uh, piece of gear, piece of camouflage, and this this will break up your your silhouette. But uh, you still got to be the right time of year for your colors to kind of match up. So I got some photos you'll see from the May game that were, uh, it just didn't match up. It was way too green out there and uh, didn't really work. Uh, played two weeks ago, and here I'm making this video in late, late September. Now everything's kind of changing in the fall, and uh, you know, Multicam works best in early spring and late fall. And I tell you what, it worked great. Uh, I had a teammate that was taking some photos. So I'm going uh, to throw those in here. You can see some different photos of it actually on the field, how well it works at uh, concealing your profile. And uh, really, really great piece of gear for the money. So once again, this was uh, $90, and the uh, disguise elements are about 3 bucks each. They make some different stuff. Again, a tactics, too. They make uh, larger versions. They make what they call it an alligator model that kind of has the thing that goes down your back a little more. So it's a little more like a traditional gilly. I just like this because it's, it's light and... Uh, you get that benefit, kind of a breaking up your silhouette from a ghillie suit, having a nice hood without all the uh, the heat, the weight, and the, uh, you know, getting in the way, being encumbered by it. That's about all I have for the uh, Guiana Tactics uh, Viper hood. I, I really like it. I can't say enough good things about it and uh, probably buy more of their products in the future. So uh, I'll put a link to their website in the description below and uh, thanks for watching.